Welcome back to another three on three classic. I'm your host, Orion Vincent, and tonight we got the Predators versus the U15 Sharks. With me, as always, classic co host, Sean Simonson. Hello out there. We're on the air. It's hockey night tonight. So, anyways, yes, yes, yes. Like the three on three classic continues. We're taking a little sneak peek at the Predators right here, right now. Their goaltender is Shretra. I'm sorry if I'm not saying it right because I'm just a dude. And at the other end, we got the U15 Sharks. And I believe the goaltender we're looking at is Mr. Weed. And there's the rest of the cavalry. Yeah, that's right, Simonson. And like you said, we apologize in advance if we call a girl a guy, a guy a girl, or we mispronounce your name. Anyways, we're going to start the game off here with Ryan McCain, number 16, for the Sharks. He shoots and he scores just like that, Simonson. He Opens the game up for the Sharks. Look at him, that little puck maneuver. He just lifted it there, then regained control and just let that go like an absolute cannon, Simon. Seemed like he was a pirate from the 1800s. Yes, definitely. No, very nifty move there when he cut through the into the middle. I like it. Oh, nice save right there off the Predators player. Weed made there. And yeah, check it out. See, there's the shot. So calm. Stands there like a wall. Use the blocker. And then number six just blows a tire, Simonson. You know what? These kids are a little older, so maybe we can chirp a little bit. I don't know. They might get upset. Who knows, Simonson? <laughs> Anyways, uh, there's a tripping call, and there's going to be a penalty shot for that. And here we go with the Predators. They're making moves, and uh, oh, is that that's a goal? I thought it, the goalie saved the initial shot here, Simonson. Enlighten me. Okay, well, see, here we go. See, there's the initial save. But from what I understand, the way this penalty shot works is everybody follows up, and then it's a live puck afterwards. From what I understand, I could be wrong, but nonetheless, one to one the score right now. Okay, we got the Sharks going into the corner, battling with a Predator. Ooh, it's a nasty Predator. And there, he trips him down, but gets away with it. Not quite. Nope, not quite indeed, Simonson. There's going to be a tripping call here. And uh, we got the U15 Sharks, number 12. I believe she plays for the Jets, actually. Uh, a recognizer. Oh, she goes on the outside, Simonson, and the Predators are going to run away with that, but it's intercepted by Ryan McKay in his own zone, in the neutral zone, one hands a stick, picks up speed, makes move, dangles, brings it up for it. Oh, wow, what a snipe, Simonson, by Ryan McKay. This kid does it again. Wow, yeah, okay, so this is kid is clearly the phenom on the ice here. Uh, we're number 16 for the U15 Sharks. Ryan McKay, look at him battling, fighting off checks, stick work like that, and then he just uses his other hand, puts it on his stick, and cuts in a little bit, and then look at that laser beam, and that, you can hear, ring the iron so good in the back of it. I haven't heard it ring like that since the school bell, Simonson. Uh, there you go, that was a long time ago. Oh, man, the Predators player just got tripped up, and there's going to be a penalty. That means the Predators get a penalty shot here, Simonson. Number seven of the Predators making moves there. Oh, and a nice save by Weed. Oh, that was a great save there. Here we go. Number 16 for the Sharks. Ryan McKay goes, tries to defend it, lean in, go for a power move, and then it's a big save off of a rebound there that was made by Shetra. And here we go. There's battling right at the blue line there. It's taken over by the Predators. They're coming through aggressively. Number 12 gets straight Kind of no, but it's still there on the stick and in the back of the net. What a goal by number 12, Simonson. Look at all the work that the Predators are doing. You'd think uh, they're fighting off an alien. And uh, yeah, right there, there's a little bit of a hit. And number 12 just goes out of screen and comes back with it. And then it beats off the shark there because Predators are also Predators and so are Sharks. But it's Predators who are the victors here, Simonson. I know. It's just phenomenal. It's mayhem out there. I love it. We want blood. We want blood. 2-2 two is the score. Six. 16, beautiful drop pass for the Predators to five. Shot right in the bread basket of weed. Yeah, there's uh, Ryan McKay there and has a little move. Oh, and a nice save by Shetra. But it's a shark still behind the net of the Predators, number 21, making moves, dancing around. Look at them cut all over the place there. Dishes out front. The Sharks can't handle it, Simonson. They don't have enough claw, uh, jaws there. But uh, they still have the puck. They're still holding on right back to Ryan McKay there. Ryan McKay, oh, between the legs, and he pulls it off, and he scores. What a goal by Ryan McKay. Yeah, here we go. So the Sharks there, they go, and it's a hat trick, I guess, but this kid does it all the time, like he eats them for breakfast. But way between his legs and scores another phenomenal goal like that. Nice, very cheeky, very cheeky move. Yeah, and a nice assist by Whitford. And Simonson, I like that. He definitely eats hat tricks for breakfast there. Oh, man, and the Sharks just labeled Howie there. Uh, number two, Whitford there, just puts Howie to the ground, Simonson. Yeah, here we go. We got the Sharks swimming through the ocean. 
Ocean. Oh, nice dangle with the current and then can't score. Not caught up in the fishing netting this time. More dangles coming from Mr. Number 16. Oh, behind the net finds the front of the net. Number two finds the back of the net. Nice goal by Whitford Simonson with a lot of work done there by Ryan McKay. Look at those dangles. He's just undressing him, Simonson. Um, oh, man. And then he just, he just all sorts of cuts and maneuvers there. Ryan McKay, he's definitely a phenom, Simonson. Like you said, I this kid is the next WWE superstar there, and he just feeds it to Whitford there, and Whitford just slides it in the back of the net easily. No thanks to Ryan McKay and all the hard work that he did, Simonson. It's 4-2 for the Sharks. Man, he's stick-handling in a porta potty there. There's no space, and I don't know how he moves it around. Nice save by Weed. Here we go. Predators got it. Oh, they get it into the back of the net. Number six, I think that was from seven. Yeah, that's right. Simonson, uh, number seven, Kitchen there. Feeds it to number six, Stevens. And Stevens with the nice goal. Uh, the Predators are not laying down, Simonson, to the Sharks. Uh, look at that. He's giving his boy props. It's 4-3 to three for the Sharks, but the Predators are Predators. Predator Simonson, so they're not one to lie down. Oh, right there again! Stevens back to back goals with back to back assist by number seven, Kitchen. Just using all of the utensils there, Simonson. Oh, yes. No, he didn't. He had the cutting board out there and he chopped that one right into the back of the net there. Beautiful. 4 4. We got quite an exciting game here. The Predators, number seven, back to his pal, number eight, back to seven. Goes. Oh, that one goes over across the blue line or the goal line and into the corner. It's turned around by the Sharks. They come out of their own zone into the neutral zone into the offensive zone they're carrying it looking for somebody fires one towards the net right through the five hole and it's good was that five hole Simonson? i don't know let's run this back he just slides it oh it was oh sharp eye simonson look at that yeah he just slid it right through there um that was nice and the the sharks are gonna take the bite on this one five to four but the predators aren't giving up simonson number 10 of the predators right back in the shark zone there's number seven i believe that's kitchen right back to the point number eight eight feeds another predator and they just fire a field goal oh that's a scoop like where you get scoops for your ice cream cone because he went way up and over and that's the end of the period. Yeah, and we're going to go for a mid-game interview with Marcus Gill here, Simonson. Let's hand it over I'm to here him. here with Ashlyn Kufler. This is your third game of the day. Just talk me through how you're dealing with this. You must be super fatigued. Just let me know what's going through your head right now. A little tired, but just keep hydrated and keep moving. Take short shifts. Keep going. You're in another really close game, a new team. What are what are you feeling out there on the ice? What are you seeing? Uh, we just got to make quick passes, good hard passes right on the tape and get good shots on that. Good luck in the rest of the game, Ashton. And we're back, Simonson. It's 5-4 to four for the U15 Sharks over the Predators. We got ourselves a barn burner, and there's six Stevens there. Kicks it right back out to Kitchen, right back to Stevens. Oh, look at that, Simonson. That is Stevens' hat trick goal right there. We just jumped right back in. We're going to have to have another look at this. Yeah, okay, there it is, right there. Beautiful, but uh, I was just listening to Marcus Gill there saying that some of the players playing three games today. Wow, I'd be saying, give me the orange slices. But there's an orange <laughs> slice right there. That's right, Simonson. The old orange slices and the halftime at soccer maneuver. I remember those days because, uh, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, anyways, here's the Predators. Number seven, nice dangle through the legs. That's a backhand nice save by Weed. And it's the Sharks that turn it around there. Number 21 there, stops short, cuts right back out to the middle, decides to stop again, trying to cut again. Still has the puck, still fighting for it, but the Predators are going for it. But no, it's Ryan McKay who comes out of nowhere for the Sharks. Dangle it, all sorts of dangle. Look at that maneuver, and he scores! The puck is on a string. Look at it. I don't care how many goals this kid has. Look at that phenomenal stick handling. I don't know what he does on his spare time. He must be doing stick handling. Well, Simonson, you know what? I know he doesn't post a lot of Instagram videos. I've seen him on there. and I know some of these kids like to post a lot of stick handling videos, so he's definitely practicing. Uh, he's just not showing it online, but it's showing in this game here, Simonson. And a nice save by Shetra there. Stones Ryan McKay there. You can't get them all, Simonson. No, because it's a team game, so let's everybody else have a turn. Let's go. Here we go. Predators getting a turn. They take a shot, and they take it well. Oh, number uh, number 10, Otto of the Predators here for goal number six. Look at that. He's fighting off. Uh, Ryan McKay is being a little dirty there, Simon said, whacking him and hacking him. But uh, Otto didn't care. He's going to drive that school bus right into Springfield. That's right. 6-6, six, six, still all knotted up. Number two for the Sharks. Taking time, shot, oh, and it bubbles in, does it? Or no, no, it did not bubble in. You see that? The goaltender, Shetra, had scooped that one out. 
just to get it out of harm's way. We got that down low, predators have it, and then number seven gets plowed over by 18 on the sharks there. And we're gonna take a little replay here. So look at, it's just clearly size difference there that won. And uh, you know what, that's good sportsmanship. I like to see it. Yeah, the uh, Sharks player number 18 tour just leveled Kitchen. But you know what, good sportsmanship, like you say there. And uh, the Sharks gonna go back, has a shot, and then the, it's the Predators now, Simonson. They're in the neutral zone. Number 10, Otto, uh, coming straight from Springfield, trying to make moves, and he gets stood up by the Sharks player, but he's still on the puck, Simonson. Um, but there's Ryan McKay. Ryan McKay picks up the puck there, feeds it right to his buddy number two. Can't quite remember his name. Whitford, there it is, Simonson, in the neutral zone. Gains his own to the Predators. Whitford there going one-on-one -on -one with the goal. Oh, look at that. He just beat him block side. Blocker side, no problems there. No problems whatsoever. It was open all day, all day long, like 7-11. Oh, yeah, Simonson, I was just going to say, that's 24 hours right there, open all the time right there, and Whitford capitalized it. He got himself a Slurpee there. Uh, anyways, here's the Sharks in the... Predators zone again. Whitford back at it there, battling Otto. Otto and Whitford in the corner, but it's Whitford that's getting away with it, turning around. Ryan McKay there to help him out. Nice, nice work. Uh, sportsmanship. Oh, has a shot. He just pops a water bottle and labels that one. That water bottle went flying, Simonson. Making water bottles pop. Look at that. Okay, so there's the work down in the corner, and he comes in to help out for some support, and it finds. Um, number six go creep into the slot there if it doesn't use number six so he used him as a decoy and just goes sniping yeah he just went sniping Simonson at the shooting gallery that was goal number five for Ryan McKay and it's eight six for the Sharks uh, this is a definite barn burner of a game Simonson there's Piliotis there kind of slips I don't know if he got taken down or not oh looks like there's a whistle on the play we're gonna have to see what happened here uh, I guess we're not gonna have to see what happened here Piliotis is just gonna go for the penalty shot there and uh, yeah here we go Piliotis and the Predators there cuts to the forehand Oh, and a nice goal by Piliata Simonson, and he's stoked about that one because he puts the Predators within one. Yes, that's right. You look at calm, cool, and with the way this uh, whole penalty shot thing works, I guess, he gives the players a little extra incentive to just get their rebound or whatever. I don't know, but they're pumped. It went in with no rebound, and that's good stuff. Seven for the Predators, eight for the Sharks. Can the Predators catch them? We're gonna find out, there's the Sharks. Shoots it, it goes wide off the glass. It's in the corner, Sharks pick it up. 18, it goes down behind the net of the Predators. Sharks pick it up, they have it curling around, finds the slot, who's that? They take a shot, miss the net, goes well wide. And then the Sharks get it again, off the backboards. Circling around number 19, around the circle, it's the top of the circle, shot scores! Nice goal by number 19 to Dabo Simonson. I recognize that name, we might have commentated him before. Anyways, there's number 19 to dabble there. Curls around there. Look at him and just take and look at he just winds up, snaps it home there. Shetra must have lost sight of it. There's a lot of bodies around. Anyway, or that was just a nice shot. Either way, the Sharks just uh, went up by two, Simonson. There's trying to cement this lead here. Yeah, well, that's what you gotta do. You gotta keep moving. Oh, number eight there for uh, the Predators. Tried a little move, but it didn't work out in his favor. So have a sit down for a second. Oh, it looks like you're getting a penalty shot here. Okay, well, here, one on one with the goal. Tender, weed and gets beat. Yeah, he got beat, Simonson, and number eight, Brum scores. That was a nice little easy maneuver there. Brum was very relaxed, and uh, yeah, it's just a nice relaxing goal, Simonson. That's one of those goals that I like to kick back, put my feet up, and just uh, watch it go down. Yes, yeah, okay, here we go. Predators still going with the action. Oh, and there we go, a little foot-on-foot -foot collision, but it's all good, 19 for the Sharks, across the 12 for the Sharks, shot, and it's wide for the Sharks. Now it's coming out to number Mr. 16, and there's a feeds it across the 12, in the back of the net it is. In the back of the net it is, Simonson. That's, uh, look, the Junior Jets player, uh, Ryan McKay, gives it to the his other partner for the Junior Jets player, number 12, I don't know her name, and uh, it's just all around Simonson, they score and uh, the Sharks are gone up 10-8 to 8 with 13 seconds left in the second period. This is uh, probably not going to amount to much here, Simonson. There's not much time. There's Howie giving chase to it with Ryan McKay in the back end there, Simonson. Dishes it out and that's going to be the game. The Sharks take this one. I believe it is 10 to 10-8, Simonson. Excellent game. Yeah, 10-8, to 8, a little closer. Had me excited here. A lot of good action, a lot of skill out there. I like watching it. Good times. Yeah, I like hockey, Simonson, and that was an excellent hockey game.